Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another Football Manager Tips and Tricks video and today we have a massive one. The FM editor and his team have released the tier 10 database for Football Manager 2021. Today in this video I'm going to show you where to get the database, how to put it in your file structure so that it loads up in-game and show you a little bit of it in-game so you can see the plethora of teams that you can now manage in Football Manager 2021. So let's get into it. So then guys, before we move any further, I just wanted to give a shout out to Steve, the FM editor, great name by the way, and the team for being able to put out this database so quickly after the release of Football Manager. I'm sure they would have preferred it quicker than it's actually came. However, there have been some issues with the editor this year, but they are now finally able to release this database. I've been keeping an eye on it all the way through. And uh, as you can see, they've been posting regularly yesterday about 85% ready, 90% ready, 96% ready. And now, <coughs> excuse me, the time is finally here. They are ready to download, uh, to put this database out for you guys to download. One thing I will say though, guys, if you are gonna use this database, please um, please do go and support them on Patreon. If you, it, you know, it really does help the whole team. Um, they bring out some incredible databases and stuff. I'll leave a link to their Patreon and their Twitter at the top of the description. I'd really, really uh, recommend supporting them because obviously there's thousands and thousands of people who do download this database and not everyone supports them and gives them the support that they need. So first, first thing you need to do is go over to the FM Editor page on Twitter. So the handle is the FM Editor 85. That brings you up to the page that I've got open here now. Um, now, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're following them and also ring the bell for notifications as to when they post new databases because they do bring out a lot of good databases pretty darn regularly. But this is the one we're interested in today. It is their pin tweet. As you can see, their tweet says from 13 hours ago, it's ready, the first FM21 database and transfers, etc. Really hope you enjoy the database. If you notice anything, please let us know. Please enjoy and please retweet. Now, I've already liked this tweet and I've already quite tweeted it. That's why I was showing that I've not retweeted it. But you need to go on to this link here, the media file link. That will open up this media file, uh, media fire window here. All you need to do then is hit that download button. Yep, there you go. Hit the download button and it will end up in your downloads as you can see here. If you go and show in folder, you will see the FM Editors Team English Level 10 database. So what you need to do there is you need to copy it from your downloads. You need to go into your documents here if you're on Windows, go into Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2021. And if you don't have it, you will need to create a folder called Editor Data. All you need to do to do that is just right click, go new, folder title it editor data i already have that folder as you can see i've been doing some stuff uh if, of my own i've got my own custom database for where i created my own full custom creator club um, and then all you need to do guys is paste that folder paste that file sorry into this folder and it is as simple as that then you need to go on and do the in-game bit but this is this puts it in the right place for you guys to then open it up and import it into football manager if you're using a uh, mac you can do it the very, very similar way. Um, just use Finder to find your Sports Interactive folder, um, and then that will pull you into the Football Manager 2021 folder, and it'll look identical to this, just in Mac. Um, so you'll see blue folders and stuff like that. But yeah, you need to do the same thing. Create the Editor Data folder, and then put the file in there. After that, you need to go in-game. As you can see here, I've loaded up Football Manager, and you can see my Pentagon Challenge is in the background. Uh, make sure you do check that out if you're new to the channel. Um, then what you need to do is you need to start a new game. You hit the career button, then you need to go to database in the top right hand corner. As you can see here, it is already loaded, but just to make sure that this box is ticked, the FM editors team, English level 10, FM 21, and then you hit confirm. Advanced setup, I'm gonna go in and just turn a couple of leagues off just so that I can just show you England. And uh, let's just wait for the database to load. Um, right. So let's take out all of these other ones. And as you can see then, active nations and leagues, you can go all the way down to the English County Leagues of level 10 and above. So that is the one we'd want to do. That is the, what I'm gonna be doing for uh, my personal save um, away from YouTube. Then you hit the start game button 
and then it sets up this magical database and you can pick whatever club you want to be in. I will say, do some research guys, because finding out what all the leagues are called is, is very difficult to find out your, the league you want to manage in. So definitely do your research, find the club that you want to be, find out what league they're in, what tier they're in, and then that will make it so much, so much easier when you come to pick your team. Um, it's just setting up the league and cup competitions. Now, as you can see though, it is loading in absolutely swimmingly. I'll be back once we are ready to pick our team and have a little look around the database. Okay then guys, we are back and we are ready to pick our team that we are going to be managing. We are going into England. We are going into the English County Leagues level 10. And as you can see, there's all sorts of divisions in here. Um, I think the one for me is England, English County Leagues, Western League Division 1. Yeah, there are the boys that I was last year. Longwell Green Sports, predicted to finish second. Um, but you can go in and obviously, as you can see, if your team uh, that you want to manage your, your local team is in level nine, be in level nine. Eight, seven, six, obviously six is in the game anyway. Uh, but you can see all of these, uh, all of the divisions, all the way down to tier 10. Um, and you can have a fantastic time with this database. I'm just going to load in uh, suggest badges based on Longwell Green. Okay, sure, National A license. We're going to start playing. It's going to ask me to save the game sooner rather than later. And I have been appointed the manager of Longwell Green Sports, guys. Put pen to paper on a one-year deal worth a massive £140 a week, as you can see here. Uh, media predictions already done as well. Expected to finish second. Got the badge in here as well. Uh, and then we move forward into the game. You get all the the exact same thing that you do with managing a big club. Um, you get the club vision, the club culture of signing players under 23 for this club, which is which is absolutely fine. Do not sign players over the age of 30. Again, fine. Work within the wage budget. I'd be very interested to see what the wage budget is, but absolutely not a problem. And then as you're as you come accustomed to your standard end of season targets, and then beyond that. So let's hit next. Let's confirm this. Uh, I'm going to quickly save this one, and then. Love how quickly FM21 saves this year. Um, and then we can go into it. And as you can see, guys, the schedule's all in here. They've already built out the, the, the full schedule. You're playing everyone who you would expect to play. It looks fantastic. The competitions are all in as well. We're in the English Western League Division 1. Uh, we've got the Emirates FA Cup. Uh, Bill Base FA Vars and the Western League Cup as well. It all has all the regional cup competitions as well. This is probably the most comprehensive database I've ever seen. I love I love the tier 10 database and I could stay in it probably all, all day, all day, every day uh, and just only play this one. But then you guys would never, ever see me. So guys, that is it from me. It's a quick, easy one today just to show you guys how to install this fantastic database from the FM editor and his team. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you do go out there and you do uh, like the like the tweets on Twitter, follow them, ring the bells for notifications for further databases, but most importantly, uh, subscribe to them on Patreon. It really does help those guys out. They, they, they do some fantastic work and there's so many people in the community that use this database. I hope that some of you guys can give back to them as well. Um, I'm going to leave it here for today, guys, though. But if you have enjoyed it and you have found the video useful, don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe to my channel. I'm bringing out daily football manager videos. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys there.